This week on The Wire, vacancy rate remains below 3%, home buyer interest up by half, and Gen Y planning to buy soon. G'day guys, my name is Tim Guest and welcome to The Wire, the week in real estate where you can get all the top stories happening this week in finance, real estate, investment and more. Now please like, comment and share this video and if it's your first time tuning in, don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you are seeing this. So let's get into our top story for this week. The vacancy rate remains below 3%. So the latest data on residential vacancies shows that despite a rise in the number of properties seeking tenants, the national vacancy rate remains well below 3%, which is a commonly accepted benchmark figure. The current national vacancy rate, this is according to SQM research, is 2.6% compared to 2.3% a year ago. All the capital cities except Sydney still have vacancy rates below 3%. And three capital cities, Adelaide, Canberra and Hobart, have vacancy rates below 1.5%. And that is despite the increase in the number of properties available for rent. Melbourne, Brisbane, Perth and Darwin all have vacancy rates between 2.3% and 2.8%. And this is according to the SQM figures for April. Sydney is the city that will have the most problems with vacancies. It's now close to 4%. And one of the strengths of real estate across Australia is that vacancy rates were so low in most capital cities and in many regional centres as we entered the virus shutdown period. This has meant that the number of property seeking tenants has risen. Most markets though have been able to absorb that extra shock and still have acceptable vacancy rates. And now guys, for our next story. So home buyer interest, up by half. So buyer interest in the property market is up 50% on the same time last year, and that's despite the challenges posed by COVID-19. According to realestate.com.au, searches in New South Wales, Victoria, and South Australia, they're all up 40% on this time last year. Increases in the year-on-year -year growth have been recorded in every state, with Queensland up 33%, WA 49%, and the ACT up 91%. Realestate.com.au Chief Economist Nerida Connorsby says the first two weeks after lockdown, we witnessed a dramatic fall off in searches. We expected to see that continue to drop off, but after that, we saw an enormous pickup. First home buyers are among those eagerly searching, with CoreLogic reporting that year on year, uh, first on home buyers inquiries rose 40% in April, while investor inquiries fell by 20%. Domain reports that interstate searches for property have been rising since COVID-19 hit, with WA Property recording a 120% uplift from March 26 to May 4, while internet search, uh, interstate searches for the NT rose 153% and Queensland rose 180%, all pointing to a short-term crisis and a quick recovery. Now guys, for our final story of the week. Gen Y planning to buy soon. So a record number of Australians, 29%, plan to buy a new home in the next two years. And this is, uh, this is coming from new research by Rabobank. Nearly one third of those surveyed have been considering upgrading, downsizing, shifting location, or getting into the property market for the first time. The result eclipsed the previous high of 24% in 2016 when house prices rose by 15%, says Glenn Whelans, who's head of client experience at Rabobank. Generation Y are the key drivers with a third of those aged 24 to 37 considering swapping homes or buying one for the first time. Whelan says, I think there's definitely a lot of people exhibiting really good financial and having a sizable deposit saved so um, they're aware of what they can afford. People are now seeing good opportunities in the market and perhaps also feeling FOMO. Experts advise that if potential purchases aren't adversely affected by COVID-19, now could be a good time to buy with interest rates ultra low, reduced competition from other buyers and the possibility of buying well in a weak market. Well guys, they're the top stories for the week. Now please remember to like, comment and share this video and don't forget to follow or subscribe wherever you're seeing this. Also, don't forget to stay tuned later in the week for our Just Ask Tim video series. And if you wanna submit a question or there's a topic that you'd like me to discuss in more detail, there is a link in the post to do that. Apart from that guys, have a great week. And remember, there's only one thing in life that makes a difference and that's action. Thanks a lot and see you later.